Hello there everyone, I'm Ruthless Enclave Leader Mocha Lover, and thank you for rejoining me here in Hearts of Iron 4 with a couple extra mods. Now, uh, there's quite a few comments we need to go through, and I'm not sure if I told you what mods I'm using. I thought I did, but the mods we're using for this campaign, as someone did ask in the comments from yesterday's video, is Old World Blues, Old World Blues uh, uh, Radio, Enclave Reborn mod, Stage Special Tool mod, Colored events as well as player of the peace conferences. And there's another comment that someone told me about this. That I didn't realize. If I hold Control Shift H, this Switch Central Tool mod can disappear and reappear. So that's actually kind of cool. I didn't know that. Thank you for that comment. But Enclave Defectors flock to the Legion. Although we take power with a promise to not purge our political enemies, like most politicians, we've fallen short of our promises. While some purists fled east to Chicago or Raven Rocks, some Enclave loyalists who like Wastelander Americans personally but doubt our cause have sold their services to the Legion. The dude took some suits of power armor, plasma guns, and our last supply of FEV on the way out. Apparently, Kaiser intends to use them to bring the torch of knowledge to the waste in a rather literal fashion. Wait, why do you take the FEV? Cool. The anti-integration faction. The appearance are no more, but that does not mean every member of the former faction is an unconditional love of the Wastelanders. Many hold the opinion that while they are certainly no purists, the Wastelanders should be kept at a safe arm's length from the pure stock humans of the Enclave. For them, there can be no integration, only the ruling of one class by their genetic betters. The many ex-purists and reformer moderates have gone over this new faction in a government. How should we approach this new divide? The Leech Party will now be called the Anti-Integration Party. A valuable point of view. Two steps forward, one step back. And we are currently at the intellectual party, let's just remind everybody. Remember what happened last time? Plasma grenades can be a pow powerful demotivator. Loose stability, because we're ruthless, we've got to go that way. So, automation, very cool. Next up, let's grab, basically resistors, it's almost 2276, let time go on. All clean radio, and before I forget, we want to reroute Crimson Caravan stuff. So this way, we will never have to deal with them, but that would be pretty good to do that as well. Let's do this one first, because we have enough political power, and then we'll reroute Crimson Caravans. Because that's pretty important to do. A curb voice under influence. Our rapid expansion has left a surprising amount of influence within our borders in the power of voice centers. Regardless of our opinion towards them, we could consider pulling some power back into our hands. More than 30% we lose some legitimacy, and less people support, more intellectual support. Ah, 0% does hurt us quite a bit in terms of political power, especially comp compliance growth. Ooh, that, that's going to hurt us quite a bit. What are we making right now? I want to make as many power armor divisions as possible. That's definitely true. Definitely, 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 definitely. Ooh, actually, you know what? Since we have enough here, let's make these make sure that these guys are actually 20 combat width at the minimum. That would be very good. <clears throat> Flexibility command, or adaptive chain command, which is not bad. 10% reinforce rate. That doesn't really help you while you're in battle, though. Uh, breakthrough will help quite a bit, especially where we're headed, marching fire. That would be very good. And, yeah, I'll go do that one next. Most definitely. As we're doing Enclave Radio. Followed by, now we could do the police, the first brick, or prepare expansion. Which, you know, I'm not I'm not opposed to that. But the, ooh, straight up annex him, huh? Getting more states requires more political power to hide from the NCR. We actually get a core on Vault City, which I kind of like, actually. Which would be very good. Ooh, the mutant question. Ooh, we could do that one, too. I like the mutant question. Now, oh, we could do the American Dream. Or we could do Home in Nevada. Home is Nevada, but that's not fun. That's not a lot of fun. Locks rebuild in the nation focus stream gives you the claims in the NCR Republic. You get a lot of political power. Anti communist propaganda crack the code, which we do need to do. Stage raider attacks would not be bad eventually. Call in favors, not bad. Old World Radio, I still want to get more political power, so I'm going to do that one next. I don't remember Old World Blues, which is not bad. Or New World Hopes. We'll probably go with New World Hopes, but we'll actually not do this one. We'll do Old World Radio and then we'll do some other stuff too. Enclave Radio can broadcast songs to trade on nostalgia for a better, older America and ignoring our shortcomings. I didn't realize we had research next as well. Cool. More local workspaces. That would be great, great, great. Old World Radio. Now we get a whole point four seven. Not a lot. But I'll still take them, because why not? Depot uncovered in NCR territory. Our spies have uncovered a large map leading to an abandoned pre-war military depot. It holds a large amount of older power armor suits in working condition. However, this depot is in NCR territory, meaning our efforts may not go unnoticed by the bear. Excavate what we can, so suspicion goes up, and 400 units of scavenge power armor cover our tracks instead. NCR suspicion goes down by 10. Now that ain't bad. That really ain't bad. Can it go any lower than 10? Suspicion? Hmm... 
you know, if it goes up by 10 more political power, I don't like that. But we do get more political power every day anyways. We could really use extra power armor right now. Because in the future, even though this isn't great power armor, we're going to need a stockpile of reserve power armor to help last. So we're going to do that one. Because I'm thinking once we go to war, while the power armor won't die too quickly, we're going to need as much power armor as possible. Also, someone did say that because we're going to go down the certain, like, reformist segregationist route because we're hello vault city um we'll have to do with this one apparently um we do get the option to get the best power armor so they want new reno we'll deal with this so be it well i think this happens every single time i play as well maybe not every single time but a lot of the time as the enclave actually we only have three infantry divisions huh no matter it doesn't matter to me i don't really care look we'll at something like that jacob dwemer we got 81 army uh command power right now ninja we'll grab ninja for more land out attack immediately we could do infantry stuff with him but nope not interested good 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 come on in vault city observant leader less speed more reconnaissance i kind of like that and that's gonna oh uh, you know what if that's the case after old world radio because of what they the, what they're doing we might just go ahead and just go down here. Show a force. And then these guys. Hopefully this stuff will just auto-bypass. We can get our new city and get a core and stuff. Full control of Gecko. And then we'll get some of this. Uh, complete the Enclave Police. Technology. Civilian Power Grid. Oh, we can we can build civilian power grids. Connecting local populations to your power grid and your control. That'd actually probably be pretty good so we can start coring some stuff. Volatile Shacks Market. If you'd like to read about this, go right ahead. But we must continue. Actually, we've got an open hole here. You know what? Let them in. I don't care. I really don't care. We're going to kill them anyway, so. And. Oh, they went with moles. Or it was. Ah, uh, the brain is leading. Old world radio. Followed up by even more political power. I want to get as much political power as possible. Ooh, daily. Uh, 0.1. Minus 3%. Eventually, that's not going to matter at all. I would love to do the American dream. Hmm. I would love to do expansion as well. It's only 10 days. But I want to get as much political power as possible. We're going to do New World Hopes. Or Old World, please. Ooh. Hmm. Let's go with this one. New World Hopes. It's time to help people look forward to a better, brighter tomorrow. Today. Alright, so hopefully these guys try to come kill us. There we go. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Oh, and we don't want to forget. Planes. Especially transports, because we will need to use those transports to aerially land, aerially land, pair drop into enemy enemy territory. Uh, that's the case. Split you in half. I'll send you guys. Actually, well, technically, we could just probably just pair drop on into them. So there you go. And but I want to get army XP. We don't really need to do that then. That's fine. We will need someone to cover. The, like, hmm. We need some close air support planes. Maybe we'll get some gliders anyways. Ooh, more power armor? Don't mind if we do. And... There we go. Very nice. Have everyone just come on in and beat them up. Alright, they died. Have we lost anybody yet? Nope. Let you guys come over here. Uh, actually, you know what? With six divisions, I'm not too concerned about this. Just go ahead and take Vault City. And go Golconda and that group. It doesn't really matter. Just encircle them. Just kill them off. Just using just the power armor, though. Keep these guys in place. You know what you want? You can just go kill them off, too. And then take Vault City. Improvise tools. Nice. Let's go ahead and grab some more construction speed, because we can. And maybe get some gliders after this, too. There you go. And then do that. There you go. Beat him up. Have we lost a guy yet? Not yet. That's good. Ball of City. They can't stand. Okay, they're gone. Ooh, actually, can we... Is it possible for us to release them as a puppet? Ooh, we could release them as a puppet. Mmm. I would... Mmm. Mmm. We do get a core on them. In time, hmm. 
I guess technically we should... Hmm. We do have full control, so maybe we'll just leave them at the way they are. Okay, we gotta prepare for expansion next. No occupation. Oof. Oh, actually, let's break up. Let's get up on guards. Oh, is it worth doing this? I don't want to deal with the resistance. I really don't. Just go ahead and do... Caravan guards, maybe. Because I don't want to lose manpower. Oh, compliance getting is disabled. Never mind. It won't matter. Do that. Cool. Well, alright then. I love gunships. Hmm. What I'm thinking right now... We could pair drop maybe on Carson City. Fallon. Fallen. Open waste, and we could probably capitulate them very quickly. Maybe. Maybe. If we do go to war with these guys. Now, there's no guarantee, and as someone's pointed out in the comments from yesterday's video, we could have the Jezero Rangers or even the Western Brotherhood go to war with the NCR. So, I'm not particularly for invading the Yakuza City, or Yakuza, Carson City. Ooh, Vault City. Ooh, that's not bad. But. We have the option of doing it if needed, but let's go ahead and do expansion stuff. Prepare for expansion. With New Reno secure, the rest of Northern Nevada lies open to us. The technology of Vault City, the manpower of the tribals, and then there are the Yakuza, a threat to our flank. Good. Reroute Kirim's and Kirim and stuff so that we never get found out again. We can invest stimulus. And that is nice. We got another trade node too, so. And we're currently get 0.59. Not great, but better than what it could be. The scavenging program. Uh, Army experience, again, yeah, that's not bad. Vault City University, we get a little bit more legitimacy, which could be good now to do as well. Bribe NCR officials. New Vegas, go New Vegas, good luck. New Vegas, currently 10, 20. Uh, what happens if we do this? Get more daily compliance, but daily compliance is disabled. Military signing bonuses actually might not be bad. We get more non-core manpower, more weekly manpower. How, much, how many caps do we have? We have oh, you know what? We could try it. Why not? Might not make a lot of sense, but why not? New Vegas is downfall. Goodbye, New Vegas. And we could also do this for a little bit more legitimacy. I'm going to go and do this just because this hurts us quite a bit, but if we have slightly more legitimacy, it hurts us slightly less. We have 5%. Doesn't help us that much. Actually, it made things worse. Actually, if you look at that. Holy crap. Anyways, issue of force. Well, this should just auto bypass, right? We can bribe raiders to trigger a border conflict with the Vault City. If they can't protect the borders, we can persuade the Vault City Council that their future lies with us. We'll gladly protect our new citizens. Here we go. That's what I thought. Our new city. There are enough disaffected elements in Vault City that we've been able to secure their loyalty. This is the second city of the reunited states. Great. Get a core on them. Now we don't get core on everybody, which sucks. But well, whatever. Keep doing that. Good. The cause is gone. And that falls ill. Well, whatever. Another power armor division? Good. We're going to need as many of those as possible. We could train them, but maybe we won't do that yet. Can we go ahead and make these guys a little thicker? No, we cannot. No, we cannot. Alright, so we gotta make a... F oh, now that's 20 combo with. That's nice. We can't make any more, which sucks, but whatever. Resistors? Thank you. We're gonna need some smoke signals. Thank you. Economic resurgence? Great. Hey, that's not bad. That is not bad. And maybe we'll get some more weekly manpower. Nice. I love it, love it, love it. Get a help. Oh, God. That's so many sets to hide. Oh, Jesus. Let's see. Some other comments as well. I already said what mods we would be using. I, okay, so I asked you guys yesterday that I said I would go down a certain path towards doing something here. And I said apparently in the last time I played the Enclave, I would be do the focuses that allow us to segregate the mutants away from the pure people. So we'll talk about that. Yeah, we'll go segregation then. We lose legitimacy. Oh, actually reduce the relevance of legitimacy by quite a bit more. S separate, but it's peaceful. I don't say separate, but equal. Oof. But, let's see. A gecko power plant. Ooh. Civilian power grid. That allows us to core stuff. Now, can we core stuff before we beat the NCR? I'm not exactly sure. Ooh, we could get... Oh, we could get more cores. Oh, I like the cores. I like the cores. Preserve Japanese culture. Establish tributaries. Oh. Oh, that's nice, but that costs so much. Hmm. Mm, that's a total of 50 days. This is a total of 70 days. How many how much energy do we have? 
Mm. You know what? It doesn't really matter. We have to get down there anyways. And we need to talk about the police soon. Ooh, is this is activity chance. I hope you get more legitimacy. Actually, before we do that one, let's go down here. It's because we're going to lose legitimacy anyway. So, the Gecko Power Plant. Vault Student and Gecko could not cooperate, meaning their power supply was a fraction of what it could be. Now that we've united them, what? Aren't we all better off? Yes, we are. We're all better off now that we've taken them out. Actually, do we have any more... Yeah, definitely bought some of this. And it is my hope... I'm not going to guarantee this, but it is my hope to actually use transports and gunships to para drop into NCR victory points. Like Shady Sands, Boneyard, uh, Dana Point, San Diego, Greater Day Glow. Uh, one, two, three, probably Farmville, Tijuana. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We include that up there. Seven, eight, Junk Town. That still might not be enough because we still need Sac City, probably. Oh, I didn't realize the Brotherhood owned that too. Oh, cool. cool. So, that'll be good to do. Military High Command. And we do have to get rid of political indoctrination eventually. I'll probably go with Enclave Academy. Because this hurts our pretty much a lot of things. So, uh, fortifications. We could build fortifications. We might actually want to build that up eventually. Nothing that gives you more political power, though. And who do we have down here? Oh, the guy who makes everything cheaper for us. Archdorn would be much, very good to grab. Let's lose political power, which I don't like. Um, that seems okay. Kick a power plant, and then rebuild the power grid. Oh, we need to do the police one first. So, then we'll do the mutant question. Since the Great War, radiation has led to the creation of ghouls and mutants. Okay, we cause the mutants with FEB. And even the Oysters are not pure human. We must decide if the American Dream applies to them as well. Nice. Let's go ahead and grab some gliders, just in case. We might want to start building them, maybe a little bit. All right, and decisions, really, we've got to keep an eye on this. Yeah, that's that's a lot of political power that we need. And we don't have that yet, so we're going to be probably found out relatively soonish. And that's not good. Nuka-Cola, huh? If you'd like to read about this, go right ahead, or maybe I'll read it anyways. As it turns out, many Westlanders have had their own views of ghouls, mutants, and primitives. First citizen Lynette of Vault City has joined ranks with many enclave moderates who think that the civilized Westlanders are real Americans, but the tribals need a firm, guiding hand, and mutants and ghouls need a plasma blast. To many, Vault City is a model town, peaceful and prosperous, and the comparison to the riffraff of New Reno or Shady Sands only bolsters their views. Lynette has citizen, League of Citizens, promising to rebuild all of America in Vault City's image. Two steps forward, one step back. She has something of a point. Ruin her reputation? I didn't put a hundred peers in front of a firing squad so some half mutant upstart can tell me who's human and who's not. Chemtrade? Oh, control of New Reno and Vault City has given the Enclave control over the West's pharmaceutical industry. Some suggest the Enclave revive old ties with criminal syndicates and seize the waste's chemtrade. Others suggest we legalize the chemtrade in our territory and take a cup. But some reformers claim that we do better just to turn out mentats and antibiotics instead of jet and trade for rare goods. But they're probably huffing Brahmin poop. Seize them? Mm, we lose legitimacy and stability, but we already have like almost no legitimacy, so it doesn't even matter. Civilian workshop and arms workshops. Legalizing jet is a swing issue for today's youth. Two civilian workshops. Well, more legitimacy. Ooh, actually getting that. Ooh, those resources. Not bad, but we're doing for now okay. Once we take over the NCR, we'll have enough advanced components. Anyways, I'm gonna see the chem trade for fun and profit. I don't care about legitimacy. That was one other comment too. Why don't I care about legitimacy? I'm ruthless. I really don't care about it right now. She looks pretty good for 500. America's 500th birthday is approaching. And some would say she is showing her age. The land was scoured by mutants and raiders, and the enclave of America's last great hope is a shadow of its former self. But to grant it, this is just a cause to redouble his efforts. Americans, he declares on the radio, have never bowed to a despot and never will. Things may look bleak now, but America will survive for the next 500 years. And we'll be on that, because enclave will always fight for a better world. Americans will always fight for freedom. Now, like I said, I, I don't care that much about legitimacy, but apparently the more we get, and the worse that, and the more that we lose it, it's really hurting us quite a bit. Quite badly, actually. We'll have more stability. That should help us slightly, right? Barely. Spies compromised. We've received an emergency transmission from our espionage and the NCR. They claim to have been compromised and have abandoned their base of operations as a result. Days away from the border on, and on foot, they're asking for emergency evacuation. Heroic extractions and no man left behind looks good in after-action reports, but we need to consider our operation security as a whole team decides our response. Send an extraction team by Vertibird. Suspicion goes up. Lose, supply, lose spies. Authorize unsupported retreat. They can make it back on their own. Too much support on their side would only increase the risks. 80% chance that spies are uh, evacuated successfully. Order them to relocate within the NCR. Relocation is enough. I usually probably like to do authorize an un unsupported retreat. 
We could do that, but I don't want any more suspicion. We could get more stability that way too, but things are starting to cost quite a bit for us. Promotion. Reaching the commander positions opened up. There are two available candidates eligible for promotion. Older, experienced Navarro veteran and a younger, outspoken reformer. Well, you said reformer. I gotta go with the reformer. Thomas Rumi Rim, eh? And organizations increase production and capacity? Production ca capacity. If you'd like to read about this, go right ahead. It just asks us to build more military factories. No, I don't care. Because our, our ability to build stuff isn't that good anyway, so... Nice. Mutant question. The enclave of old barely recognizes mutant denizens of the wasteland as human. Many among us still dumb, desiring clear lines to be drawn between purebred human and wastelander mutants. The official stance of our government towards our mutated subjects must be made clear to those within and without the enclave. Uh, well, they will have a place in America, but not at the top. Not bad. We will not fight to enslave, but set a country free. Well, that'd be cool and all, but... I said I'd go down that way, and I'm going to keep my word. Welcome, Vault City citizens. Vault City Citizenship Protocols. Fruits of the Labors. Holy bad words. Infantry equipment. Wow. Plasma weaponry. Oh, that sounds nice. Citizenship for service. Service guarantees citizenship. Genetic screening. Not bad, not bad. Promote healthy families. For citizens. Subsidized servants. Not bad, not great, not bad. New knights. Oh, yes. Model communities. Not bad. And the new Spartans. Oh, yeah. But I think it's time for us to do a little bit of police work. Actually, we, got to, we still got to do this one. We get a bunch of political power, which would help us out, actually. So, Operation Babylon. The common man. Well, we still need to go down this pathway and we're building a nation. Well, we can't do that one until we do the American Dream. 40 days. I think it's time for a little bit of a police work first. New Reno didn't need police when it was run by warring crime families, but establishing the rule of law could go a long way towards giving the reunited states legitimacy in the wasteland. The Enclave can create a police force to be a model for America. We lose 10% recruitable population factor, get more stability, and resistance activity just goes down by 5 whole percent. Resistance occupation, well, what else is new? Operation, Operational Security Compromise, Mr. President. We're hearing disturbing reports of NCR chat radio in reference to our facilities. We also received one report from an NCR spy, stumbling into one of our conference rooms, completely unaware where exactly he was. Needless to say, the NCR sure to notice something is terribly wrong if we don't act now. Continuing to operate as normal may have dire consequences. Seize aggressive tactics. Um, aggressive tactics, that's fine. We only have one more time we can do that, so we gotta start saving up a lot more political power. And we'll see what happens with those old spots. I'm gonna send them in, in, in any ways, because we can. How many caps we got? 50? Not bad, not bad. I uh, evacuated successfully. That's what we like to see. After a week of radio silence, the spies have reported back to us on a secure channel. They, were, they have crossed borders into enclave territory and are requesting a vertebrate bird evac for the rest of the distance home. They've earned their rest. Yeah, I really wish we could get some more compliance. Because if we did that... Actually, we, we do get some, some compliance. But that costs so much to do. Is that really worth it? Do we have the guns? Well, technically, yes. We do have the guns for it. And we do get more non-core manpower, but they're okay with it for now. Separate but peaceful. Civilian power grid. Eh, whatever. P production speed. Mmm, I don't like doing this. This is using up a lot of manpower. Oof. And I do want to core this stuff eventually, though. But that's using the power grid, so let's... It's been a while, I know. This is only the second episode. If things go poorly, I can always go replay this off screen anyways, but whatever. Unfortunate news. It appears some of our soldiers have taken up the practice of blasting a pre-war song on, the, on from the radio of vertebrates from routine patrols. It does not need explaining how this behavior is reckless and needlessly conspicuous. Nonetheless, the popularity must be considered in these uncertain times. Crack down the behavior. Just ask him to turn it up. Or turn it down. Now turn it up. I'd love to do that, but we can't afford that. Technocracy. We'll get more technocracy support. I'm not too worried about that. Alright. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. Enclave police. And up the marching fire, and then we'll end up doing hit and run. That would be nice. Hon honestly, I mean, we have enough guns. It hurts our manpower, but eventually, we, when we do core this, we get a lot more manpower back. And power armor is looking a lot better. Actually, do we, we probably can't. Well, we don't need to throw any more on there. We can't train any more divisions, which really sucks. Oof. That's all I can say, just. Oof. Not bad, not bad. Improved working conditions, not bad. Marching fire, let's go ahead and grab hit and run. Not bad, not great, but not bad. Could begin a scavenging program. I'd like to bribe into our officials as well. But smoke signals ain't bad. Let's grab some decryption. Clay working. 
Well, we're probably going to need some. Uh, well, going to need some agriculture too. Hmm. Actually, we need to do this as well. We need to go to this. Fools and dreamers. Well, we're not going to go that way probably. Yeah, reorganize remnants are where it's at. So we get three percent more recruitable population. But that's not bad. All right, Enclave Police, New Reno, safer than you'd expect for a city with no police force. But that's because order is maintained by a gentleman's agreement between the families. We could incorporate many of their mobsters into a new police force, and we can start from scratch with police trained by Sergeant Dornan. As someone recommended, why don't we just use these guys? Or you have to be a moron to rely on New Reno's gangs. Oh, this is where it comes in. Because I remember people, some individuals, saying that I should go this way sometimes. I should go that way. You'd be a moron to rely on New Reno's gangs. Hmm, amnesty? For, I don't like amnesty for service. Because we don't care about those old guys. I mean, honestly, this makes more sense for us to do. Just because we don't... We threw out everyone in the old gangs. We literally got rid of the families. So, out with the old. We gotta go out with the old with this one. We lose stability, which I don't like. We get more legitimacy, but it doesn't really matter that much. But at least we got more political power. So, good. Rebuild the power grip. Getting popular support through rule of law and democracy is nice, but ensuring an adequate power supply will show that our enemies have always been in the dark. That's a lot of political power. I like it. Outside volunteers, that would not be really conductive to what we're doing. Officer training, loyal officers? Ooh, that's not bad. That's her political power, which I don't like. Chief of staff, reform general staff, or Pentagon are born. We can't do that yet because we haven't gone down our focus too far enough. Totally fine, whatever. Reveal ourselves, cease aggressive tactics. I want to save up as much political power as I can for now. Then again, improve working conditions, slightly more stability. Ah, there's always so many decisions we can make. Any different major businesses? Oh no, arms company? Well, that doesn't sound very good. Gliders? Well, I mean, eventually we do get fighters. Uh, I forget which fighters. Is it Nuclear Jet Fighters? Jet Fighters? But, whatever. Land Doctrine's coming along. Let's grab some specialized warfare. I want the power armor to be as godly as possible before we have to go to any other wars. That's our high command. No, no. That's not bad, but not really worth it. Not really worth it. Intrusion speed is definitely not worth it. Air superiority will be useful. Artillery, I love artillery, but that's basically our dynamite. Eh. So we're gonna, oh, I can actually go, oh. This might actually be worth spending some stuff on then. So then economy. Actually, is there anything, before I check on, click on anything, sometimes it's worth clicking on your stuff in your focus tree to see if there's anything worthwhile. Home in Nevada, home in Nevada, adopt the entire dollar. Revive the... Okay, so no. And this is still the same path. Revive the Federal Reserve. No. This is the first brick. I um, mean, technically... Ooh, actually, if we change the economy first, does that... Or, you know, the economy law. Does that make whatever we choose switch back to civilian economy? Ooh, that is a good question to ask. I don't want to, I don't want to tempt face. So, let's save our political power first. Let's save it. I love decode signals. Let's grab some encoded signals. Still trying to build more civilian factories. Eventually we'll build up more forts, because we're going to need a lot of forts. If I remember correctly, they the NCR attacks like a bunch of rabid animals. So so that'll be good. First brick. Yeah, let's go and do that one. And then we got to do more legitimacy. There's so much we have to do. Like I want to do legitimacy stuff, so we'll make it more and more relevant. The American dream is important to do. But the first brick, with New Reno under the government, under government better than drug running gangsters we can develop the city more civilian workshops would be great i love infrastructure if you know me at all i love 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 infrastructure so civilian power grids can we build them immediately there it is connect to the grid one civilian power grid you know what screw this I i'm going to go and just build it anyways how long is that going to take oh that's going to take so long holy bad words Go and train. Oh, that's not good. Organized agriculture is good, though. Get more seed selection. Just, oh, I guess we're demobilizing. Well, that's not ideal. Now, the reason why I went with this, with wasteland pacification, is just because it helps lower resistance. It costs us way more manpower, but I hate resistance so much. So much. And this is going to be looking a little bit worse and worse and worse and worse. Whatever. Actually, you can make more if you don't use too much aluminum, which we're lacking a little bit of. Uh, let's go with three. This doesn't need aluminum, so we'll go there. There we go. And there you go. Looking better. Almost five a week. Almost. Keep 
I have everything here. Nuka-Cola Corporation would be nice. Would be nice. Oh, uh, let's go ahead and... Oh, I don't want to do that again. I wish we had more caps. Actually, well, we have enough caps. 35. How many caps do we have right now? No, we won't have enough. Just go ahead and do this one then. Spend the political power. We have it, so we might as well use it, right? First brick. Which actually gives you less consumer goods to use, but whatever. Alright, so we have this done. We've done that one. We can do this one, or we can do that one. I don't really care. You know what? I'll let you guys decide. Should we do civilian infrastructure, or should we do military industrial complex? I don't really care which one we do. Both are good. Both have their uses. Let me know in the comments below. Next up, what we'll do is... Oh, I want to do this stuff. I'm going to go ahead and grab... I love anti communist propaganda. I love cracking the code. And this is where we can have the Brotherhood of Steel or Desert Rangers fight those guys, but arming raiders and 300 infantry equipment to reduce suspicion by 20. Oh, isn't bad. I can still do that one, but no. I'm going to go ahead. Let's see how, how fast would it take us. More legitimacy. That looks just so good. Holy crap. I want to get down here quickly, but that takes too much time, in my opinion, to get this legitimacy stuff. So, let's go ahead and do the American Dream. Let us make our vision clear to all those within our borders. Our aim is to revive the U.S. of A. We do not intend to make any compromises with the NCR or anyone else who stands in the way of our destiny. Absolutely. So, we have civilian economy, and I'm going straight to partial mobilization. Because I'd love to go over here, but we don't, we, we're don't. we not going to get to 50% war support until we go to war. So, there, there's no way we can do that, I'm pretty sure. And then you find out I'm wrong, completely wrong, and then we can. So, Guns looking good. We could use some support. I don't want to lower anything from here anymore. We're going to need more guns, too. Mm, we're going to need so much. Uh, we're going to need some multi-purpose equipment, too. And that's, that's roughly a month, so that's not too bad. Oh, come on. Keep building. Keep building. This actually hurt us more. Actually, no. Uh, uh, it's not bad. It's not bad. Because we had, I thought, May earlier, but now it's March. Or maybe I just can't read. I mean, that could be very true as well. That's not bad. We still have spies, which, you know, I don't really care. Spies are there, whatever. Multiple equipment would be nice. And we're still training. Yes, we are. How are we looking? You guys are almost done. You guys are, well... Oof. And we've got a lot of mole rat mutants, though. Hmm. Motorized. We're working on fighters, which would be nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. How is the NCR looking, by the way? Wendell Peterson. I've not played them since I first played them as as my very first campaign in Old World Blues. That's a lot of manpower, but t that's only a tenth of what they, I've seen them get sometimes. That's not a ton of divisions. If we were to go to war now, they could probably still beat us. We only have, what, ten or seven enclave divisions? So, the power armor divisions, American Dream. Good. Operation Babylon. I like that one a lot. Old World Propaganda is not bad. Oh, they actually lose the building and get more daily intellectual support. Crack the code would be nice. There's so much I want to do, but let's get out Operation Babylon for more political power. The NCR mocks pre-war America, claiming to stand for liberty and progress even as it's mired in corruption. By attacking its weak points, we can knock the whole gosh darn thing over. Alright, so we have quite a bit. Quite a bit more war support. I was wrong earlier, so... My bad. We could have waited a little bit longer, but... I'm not going to wait any longer for, you know, actually, duh, that changed because I went to partial mobilization. What am I thinking? Now, wasn't there someone we could grab or some company here that we could grab that would make it easier or faster for us to build stuff? Maybe I was wrong with civilian power grids. I think I, I, think I might have been wrong. Oh, oh, we have quality or quantity? Oh, you get more armor, hardness, and breakthrough? Are you going to lose the recruitment population factor anyways? We're not at war yet, so we can wait to build that, I think. Versus in the net, more elite support. Eh. EPA director. Meh, that stuff is all okay. Captain of industry, civilian. <sighs> Nothing really interesting. The common man. We've got men and women. Might as well. The answer deployed a lot of ideals from old war America, including democracy and the respect for individual rights, but many lie forgotten in this society. In this society, who could turn to us for assistance? A lot of wars going on, eh? Alright, so we still have all this political power. I would like to get rid of all of this stuff. Enclave Academy just it's got it's the way to go. So 
And we're, uh, actually, mm, we barely get any more intellectual support. We can wait. We can wait on that one. I'm actually going to go to Organize Remnants. It's not that expensive, and we got to do it anyway, so. Just got to keep an eye on this, because this is going to keep going up and up and up and up, and that sucks, sucks, sucks. Oh, that is not looking good. Oh, what is this? Oh, we're missing guns. Oh, bad words. I knew we'd... There you go. Now we should make enough guns to deal with that stuff. Oof. Seed selection is nice. It's almost 277. We've got more research speed immediately. And specialized warfare. Not bad, not bad. Let's grab some more special forces expansion so we can make more enclave power armor divisions. That would be very important. No broadcasts. No... Well, so we came as legalized. But actually, that hurt our stability, but not that much. Loyal officers, I'm gonna wait for that. This stuff can wait as well, so. War and declared war in handguns, that's actually, that's cool, wow. Down in Mexico way. Mr. President, before the Great War, America's reconstruction forces in Mexico operated under the aid of a powerful AI known as Tlaloc. Although sadly, the AI has never accepted our claim to be the legitimate U.S. authority, doubtless due to a programming error. Tlaloc has large, lately broadcast a signal suggesting he's malfunctioning. Perhaps we should explore this. One tool that would be invaluable is understanding just how Tlaloc's robots keep going without running out of fuel immediately. That's the thing, Uh, let's see. You lose political power, get more armor cell usage, energy cell gain per energy, energy cell gain capacity. The Enclave will send an expedition to recover data and resources from Mexico, but the results may be unpleasant. You know, I did this before, and people said this wasn't a good choice. I'm going to do it anyways, because Tlaloc is federal property. And if I remember correctly, the last time I did this, it made, like, Moctezuma really strong. Or something like that, so. Which is fine. I mean, I'm not going to beat our power armor. I say that, but then again, they can't beat our um, gunships. God, I love gunships. How's this coming along? Oh, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. Until we can start coring that. That'd be great. Oh, wait. Oh, technically, it's already connected to the grid. Removing the grid will, will uncore the state. Well, I don't want to do that. We got men and women. Although the NCR is a democracy, it's highly flawed. Brahmin barons run the northern territories like feudal holdings, crushing small farmers and factory workers. The caravans buy and sell senators for bottle caps, and ethnic tensions simmer beneath the surface. A leader who promised to restore pre-war America's ideals and rally the forgotten people of, new, of the NCR, New California, could be very successful with our aid. We will remember those who have been forgotten, increase collaboration. Well, that doesn't seem like it helps us that much. Fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Demoralization campaign, that's not bad. Organize a sympathizer, it's not bad. I want to do this stuff a little bit later. Uh, actually, we can stage raider attacks, but we need more guns. So, I'm going to go ahead and really focus down here then. I'd love to break the tribe. I'd love to take out the Yakuza, but we we already have enough resistance as is. So what we're going to do, we're going to lose legitimacy. Well, let's hold on to it for as long as we can. Vault City citizenship protocols. Vault City limited full citizenship to those of genetically pure stock, while we were recognizing that Wastelanders were entitled to some basic human rights. The result was the greatest city in the Wastes. We should emulate them. For now. For now. Hit and run. Ah, hit and run what I like to do daily. Walking tanks. Even more defense. Thank you. Carthaginians were asked. I don't think they have a unique focus tree, but that'd be cool if they did. Hidden economy. Oh, yeah, that's right. Mm. I keep looking back here to see if there's anything new and different, but there's not anyone new and different that I care about. Except Arch Dornan. <laughs> but getting that 10% stability... It's okay. I mean, that works for too. The heart of the storm. Good news, everyone. The back door of our troops panel is still active, and they were able to access ChicoNet. We've already gained invaluable data and are stealing some of the treasures of Mexico, but one of our scientists believes he can subvert Tlaloc and make them recognize they were the true American government. With the power of Tlaloc, we could rebuild America and Mexico, too, eventually. Operation Guadalupe Hidalgo. Scientific robotics tech. Proceed with Operation Sam Houston. Oh, I gotta go with Sam Houston, man. Murder most foul. The cross Mexico to lock station self silent. The enclave scientists outside the Redox Lair kicked the terminal, but to no avail. Silence and then across the airways. The question What did you do? Who are you again? Hmm, Santa Ana. You've killed my father and your protector. All that you've ever done is fight and bicker in the mud. In a hundred and a thousand years, you will not be fit for liberty. Just despotism is your proper government, and servitude your proper lot. But fear not, my fellow Mexicans, there is no reason your new master cannot be a wise and virtuous one. Across the locks remains the ro robots advance. Santa Anna's eyes stared vacantly as they advance, as they were to stare down every trust to follow. Quick, blame the Brotherhood of Steel. Santa Anna will, will set out to reunite Mexico? I don't care. Why should we care? 
We're going to take over Mexico eventually, probably, so... Who cares? Not our problem. Until later. Oh, here we go. What is this? U.S. Chemical Corps. Ooh, that's different. Oh, there it is! Atomic Energy Commission! Oh, but we have plasma weaponry! Oh, my goodness! I think last time we could have chosen this one or that one. Atomic Energy Commission. Power Station Construction. Uh, see, civilian Power... I gotta go with this one. We've gotta go with that one. We, we just have to. We gotta build this as fast as possible. Which is still taking forever. Civilian power grids. Allows the state to be cored. Minus two electricity. So much cost. It actually costs the same amount as a civilian workshop. Oh my goodness. Way too much. And we have enough that we can do this. How, how close are we? Uncaps? 158. We're currently getting 40. Oh, that's so close. I'm just going to do this anyways. If we can. More ease. Not bad. You guys go ahead and train. You'll be fine. Not too worried about you guys. We still need more guns. We'll find whatever. Oh man. Flexible designs, not bad. We'll grab Bob some plant cold. Uh, no, metalworking. I want as much construction speed done as possible. All right, very good. Citizenship for service. Although most of the wastelanders are fit to only be civilians in the new America, for some service guarantees citizenship. So that's done. That's good. Uh, we must get some more army XP, even though we don't really need it too much. Ooh, we have some new things here unlocked. More weekly war support. I like that. Even more weekly war support. Weekly war support. Reduce administrative shifts. Oh, that's a hundred political power, but that could really help us out. I'm going to do it anyways, because I want that political power. And that's how much every week? For 54 days, you get 2.2. Now, if I can do math, and by math, I mean use a calculator, so... So it's about 8-ish weeks. We'll call it 8-ish weeks. 8? It's about 17.6 more stability. That's... Okay, so do we do it? It's connected. Oh, we got him. We got it. Yes, look at that manpower. It didn't go up that much higher. But we got it connected. We got more energy, which is great. And we got more scrap. And we got a few more factories to use here. Nice. Very good. We can actually core vault city. Or we actually technically already did core vault city. But we did core gecko, which is awesome. Oh, and there goes a chunk of manpower. What the heck happened there? What happened to 400 guys? Ball City University School of Law. The first class of Ball City is graduating. This includes the first crop of lawyers to be professionally trained since the bombs fell. Although some are already filing, filing lawsuits on behalf of caravan companies, manipulating the bottle cap futures markets, and having couriers develop, deliver seeds and desist orders to rival gun runners, there is an upside. Some of these students want to join the United States government, while others are representing the neediest, or neediest citizens of court. Given the enclave's origins and pre-war law firms, it's kind of touching. Maybe the reform path was a mistake. Who said that? Who said that? What do you mean is a mistake? We're ruthless, radical reformers. Yeah, maybe a little bit pro-segregationist, you know. Like George Wallace, just saying. But let us conclude this episode with a lasting focus. We could do this, but that is, I, I have a feeling that they can get rid of this once uh, over time. So that's not good. Organized sympathizers, we'll do that eventually. And then California Civil War, which would be good eventually to, to do as well. Well... We don't have enough guns, so let's just go, keep going down the path we, we have been going down. Welcome, Vault City citizens. The leader of Vault City has been managing wastelanders for decades. We can learn from them, as they can learn from us. But I hope you enjoyed today's episode, guys. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. Let me know how, how else I should spend my political power. And I will see you tomorrow, when we will continue to core, expand, and maybe be legitimate in the eyes of the wastelanders, but they don't matter. Thanks for watching. Have a great, tremendous... Enclave rest of your day.